Welcome, marchers. Thank you for joining us. to the marchers thank you for joining us you too are now part of the largest organization largest organized demonstration in history and for that demonstration all over the world a half a billion people we have to thank the Earth Day Network we have to thank Dennis Hayes the Earth Day Puget Sound Coalition which has organized this event and especially to Samantha Smith and Jeanette Walsh who yeah yeah, raise your hands. Amazing organizers, amazing jugglers, and they've made today all over Seattle Center the, the happening that it is. Um, I hope the staff and volunteers will kind of make their, their way up here to be recognized. Uh, I've, got, I've got someone I want to introduce to you now. When Seattle voters elected a downtown developer as their mayor, some environmentalists, frankly, had their doubts. They don't have any doubts anymore. The list of Mayor Paul Schell's environmental accomplishments is longer than you want to hear me recite right now, but I want to tell you that it's not just a list of civic beautification projects in Seattle. It is a list of tough choices, real, genuine, substantive commitments to environmental quality, and not just to a responsible, an environmentally responsible Seattle, but to genuine, I think, path-breaking environmental leadership. And I have to take advantage of this moment to highlight one of those commitments in particular, because I think it's a historic one. On April 10th, the mayor supported and the Seattle City Council passed a resolution. That resolution committed our municipal electric utility, Seattle City Light, the best utility in the country, to meet all of the electric power needs of the city of Seattle with no greenhouse gas emissions, zero. Let, I want to put that in perspective for you. In 1997, it was considered a great international political achievement when the leaders of the world gathered in Kyoto and committed themselves to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 5% below 1990 levels, and it was an achievement. But the scientists tell us that we're going to have to reduce those emissions by 80% below 1990 levels in order to stabilize the climate and prevent catastrophic global climate change. 80% isn't enough for Seattle City Light. Seattle City Light is not going to stop there. Under the mayor's direction, they are going to drive to reduce greenhouse gas emissions from electricity production in this city to zero using energy conservation, renewable energy resources, and greenhouse gas emission reductions and offsets if we need them. Please join me in celebrating that landmark commitment to clean energy and in welcoming Mayor Paul Schell. Thank you, Casey. Thank you, Casey. First, happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day. I want to thank all of the volunteers and the many environmental organizations who have made this day possible. This is the culmination of something we started uh, with Martin Luther King Day to celebrate our millennium for the last 15 months, focusing on the things that are really important, not just parties and Ferris wheels like they're doing in London, but thinking about what it is to maintain and keep a great community, a great city, a city where people care, the city of small towns, where as we do enter the next millennium, we teach our children the things that are important. And we chose to celebrate three big themes. Volunteerism, that is giving back to your community. And today I spent all day visiting different parts of our city and saw literally thousands of people doing various things from planting trees to working on our urban creeks, cleaning up uh, the nasty, uh, uh, 
nasty. What am I going after here, guys? The the thorns and the huckleberry, not the huckleberries, but the, the salmon berries along Thornton Creek. We uh, we did we dedicated a tree in Seward Park that's 400 years old, a Doug fir that is probably 300 feet high, and just as we were doing it, an eagle landed on the top. So volunteerism, giving back to our community, 30,000 people gave something back during this period, whether it was planting a tree, restoring an urban creek, doing something to support our community. We also wanted to celebrate our diversity. Just as in nature, a healthy community has a wide variety of people, and we teach each other and share with each other and celebrate our differences. In the global society, it's going to be important we learn how to do that, just as we're celebrating the Cherry Blossom Festival today. And then the last piece and most important piece was understanding the message of Chief Self, which was we're not inheritors of this earth, we're borrowing it from our children. And that as good environmental stewards, we must catch up on a lot of what we failed to do in the earlier generations. So the notion was to plant street trees, trees in parks, trees all over the city, set the goal of 20,000 trees, not really knowing how much work that would take. The city's got a good record. We plant two to 3,000 trees a year in our community to reestablish the urban forest. 20,000 trees, it took help from AT&T and a number of other private companies that gave us a million dollars. But it took 5,000 people dedicating 80,000 hours to plant 23,000 trees in our city in the last 15 months. And we're going to find the money to do it again. In the next two years, plant another 20,000 trees. If you've seen any pictures of our city from the air and what's happened over the last 50 years, you know that we need to do this. We need to do this for the quality of our air. We need to do this for the quality of our community, for our bird life, our wildlife, and to teach our children, which is what we're going to do on the Environmental Education Center we broke ground for last month up at the Cedar River watershed, where we hope to teach every child in Joseph Olaszewski School District what it means to be an environmental steward. You don't get out of school unless you understand the lessons that we all must if we're to save this earth for our children and their children. So it was with pleasure yesterday that we signed the Cedar River HCP, or Habitat Conservation Plan, the most far-reaching plan in the country, 90,000 acres, 30 miles to the east, free from any more commercial logging. We're going to deconstruct the logging roads. We're going to build a fish ladder around the Landsberg Dam and open up for the first time 17 and a half miles of new fish habitat hasn't been available for the last hundred years. This magical place will be a, I hope forever called, the Seattle Ecological Preserve. It's home of 83 separate species, many of them on endangered lists. This commitment together with restoring our urban streams, reforesting our community, coupled with being wise about how we invest our own dollars whether it's buying for our civic fleet gas cars or hybrid cars or electric cars, you see a few of them here, or whether it's being sure that we would use no pesticide, we're working on reducing it to zero, whether it's salmon friendly gardening, teaching ourselves that each of us have a responsibility to leave this place to our children better than we found it. And it's a community working together, helping us do that is what will keep us this city of small towns as we move to the next century as a collective large city full of exciting and creative energy. It's that spirit of caring and sharing and responsible stewardship of our environment that will be the test of whether or not we succeed as a healthy community. Thank all of you for your spending of time today and enjoying it and happy Earth Day. Bye-bye. <laughs>